Good morning. Welcome. I'm Mary Winters. I am the owner of About Senior Solutions and a gerontologist. What's that? That is the person who studies aging. We provide care plans and advocacy for older adults. And we put a show together, Visionary Aging, so that you can have resources to make excellent plans for yourself. We want you to stay in control and thrive and have the best life ever. So today we have a really fun show. It's Joel Bulgarini's birthday. Um, he's 100, a little earlier this month, but we're going to celebrate him. We have a caregiver question from Steve McCalla, and I think everything's going to be kind of wrapped around nutrition today. We have a fantastic guest with us uh, who is a chef for seniors, so we're going to talk a little bit about that with her too. So let's go ahead and we'll talk with Steve a little bit about, let's see, let's see, I've got to find his little intro here. Here we go. And we'll ask, we'll see what Steve's question is for sure. Hold on. Good. Oh, hi, you're our guest today. I'm going to bring you back in just a couple minutes and we'll bring Steve in. Thanks. So let's see, we're going to go ahead and bring Pam back later. You know, like, well, that little Good morning. Guy. So we got a little peek, peek of Pam before our, our chef, our singer chef. I know. I think everybody who saw that was like, oh, let's keep her and get rid of Steve. <laughs> <I> know, <maybe. laughs> so what is our caregiver question today? We have a very good caregiver question, which yeah. actually I'm interested in the answer because it's very appropriate for my situation. Okay. So my dad, this is coming from our uh, one of our viewers. Mm -hmm. Their dad lives alone, does not cook, does not uh -huh. have a desire to learn how to cook. Well, and they want to assure that he has a, he's, that he's eating properly, he's getting all the nutrition that he needs. Okay. And how can they assure that? Okay, well, um, there's a few different programs too. Um, you know, interestingly, it's also something we need to be aware of cognitively if somebody is getting the right food because they're not able to manage the steps to make food, which actually happens. I see people who will take raw meat out and think that they can eat that or they're not sure what to do with it, so they don't need anything at all. Uh, there is a program called Meals on Wheels, and it's a, a federal program, and it's it's designed so that somebody daily sees the senior. You can sign up for those programs and they will deliver a hot lunch and a cold dinner so that that stays safe and fresh for the evening. So that is a great way to have eyes on your dad. I would say some a service like what Pam has, uh, what uh, Chefs for Seniors, would be a fantastic idea as well because they'll be making we'll, we'll ask her but i think that they make the food in the house with the seniors which is also a great way for you to get some eyes and ears and potentially get a call back from someone with pam's office and, and see how your dad is doing and i would think too that they would be a great accessory or a great connection for care management as well because then we can connect on many levels as far as how your your dad might be doing um, right. but it's it's a it's a worry and um unless you're routinely seeing them or bringing meals or checking your refrigerator that's the other thing too we see often uh seniors will leave spoiled milk in the refrigerator and why is that person still getting sick um i've had that happen uh, in the past with some of my mental health patients um and there's just no kind of awareness that they're eating something that's spoiled so if you have somebody a housekeeper that can go through and check and see how how fresh things are and how usable they are and if they are being used and obviously if you have a caregiver in the house you can make meals for your loved one too so i hope that answers your question um but please that's a great question and there are several options out there. So you can always call the office to 626-359-0108 for more information on some of those options. But there's some great local uh, organizations that can certainly make sure that your dad gets nutrition. 
Excellent. Yeah. The Meals on Wheels, what does that run through? Is that a federal program or state? It is a federal program. It's a federal program. Uh -huh. And so it's a reduced price uh, for the food and it's volunteers deliver, as I mentioned. And it's, it, it is a great way to get a little eye on the individual. And right. then they have um, they reporting and that sort of thing too. So you see self neglect and people who aren't able to get out of their chairs or out of their bed to get food. So that should be alerting uh, the delivery person to go back and uh, file some kind of report or let their, their manager know that they the store. Right. Yeah. It's, it's helpful. So yeah, but nutrition is important. Obviously we want to make sure our seniors are staying healthy and maybe Melinda has an extra comment on that too so we'll see so let me go ahead we have a birthday today and it's joe bulgarini so let me pull his picture up and you want to come back later steve i do all I'll right later. have a great show all right sounds good let me see if i can find our little birthday lady too <laughs> here we go <laughs> I hope you add your birthdays and let us know about your loved ones who are turning 100. This is not the best picture, but I have to say it's the only one that we have for Joe Bulgarini's 100th birthday. He lives in um, Parsippany, and his birthday was actually on the 1st of October. And they had this great little party for him over at Applebee's, and he was joined with his two daughters, his three granddaughters, two let's see they has two great granddaughters lots of girls in his life lots of women uh his niece and a lot of extended family they sing happy birthday to him and the mayor james barbario presented him with a proclamation and joe served our country in world war ii not surprisingly with a uh, great distinguished uh recognition there he was in the army and he achieved the rank of Sergeant T4 and was employed to India where his unit worked to keep the Japanese forces from gaining control. He moved his wife Louise and their two daughters Carol and Janice to Lake Persephone in 1966 where they created many wonderful memories and he also served as the Lake Persephone Property Owners Association. Mr. Bulgarini, I hope you have a fantastic birthday and many, many more. And uh, we wish you a really great October. In fact, I just read that people who are born in October and November live longer than anybody else in other months of the year. So I thought that was kind of interesting. That was a study out of the University of Chicago. So we have a fantastic guest with us today. And I am going to introduce her. Uh, let's see, here we go. I'm going to show her in our screen. And she is with a fantastic company called Chefs for Seniors, correct, Pam? That's correct. Good morning. Thanks for having me here today. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about what you do and how that is achieved. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we do, like you said earlier, we do send a personal chef to the home. Um, our personal chefs do the grocery shopping, the meal prep. Um, they're all serve safe uh, certified. So that's a food safety handler certification. So they cool, store the food in um, the fridge or the freezer, freezer. They label it, they date it. So there's no confusion about expirations. Um, they leave it all there in the fridge or the freezer and they clean up after themselves. So you're getting grocery shopping, meal planning, meal prepping, and the, and the kitchen cleanup all for the uh, for our service. So it's about three hours in the home. Um, all of our chefs are professionally licensed chefs, um, studied at culinary schools, um, nice. been in the industry for a number of years. So very, uh, very well educated in all types of food techniques. So you're getting, you know, pretty much top notch with us. How oh, great, that's really interesting. So how many chefs do you have or, or how many do you plan to have with you? Yeah, so yeah, great question. Right now we have three. So my business partner, we co-own the business together. She's our executive chef. Her name is Gloria Felix. Um, she couldn't be here this morning because she's out serving some lovely clients this morning, some folks that needed to eat. 
Um, but so we've got, uh, including her, we've got three chefs right now. But I will tell you that um, our service has been well received within the community, and um, we intend on growing um, as as much as we can here um, in the near future. Um, we hope to have a number of chefs by this time next year. Um, so yeah. So tell me a little bit more about the process. I'm assuming people who have dislikes, food allergies, those types of things, you probably go through all of that with them. And, um, yeah, so the first step, yeah, the first step is really that um, we offer a free, no obligation consultation. So we send um, uh, the chef to the home to meet with um, the clients and only family members are invited to be there. That's really the opportunity to go through the service in detail and figure out a plan that's going to work for the family. Um, we talk about allergies. We talk about nutritional needs. If a dietitian or nutritionist has left um, a specific meal plan, you share that with your chef and the chef will just execute on it. We cater to all kinds of diets. It's fully customizable. So if there's a low sodium need, um, if we're dealing with that, Diabetes, like anything that the client needs, we can pretty much design a customized menu around. And our clients have seen excellent results um, with having a chef do all the cooking for them. And let's be honest, it's also a really fun activity. Who wouldn't like to have a chef in their home cooking for them? So that's the other part of this. Um, you know, we invite the clients to be there with the chef, chat with them, um, get to know one another, ask about the food, ask about how they're cooking, what they're cooking with. All, everything we do is fresh. So they'll shop, the chef shops at your favorite uh, grocery store, whatever's near your home, you choose. What kind of ingredients do you want? Let your chef know. Do you want organic? Do you want grass-fed? All fully customizable, tailored to what uh, what you'd like. Oh, that's really special. Um, yeah. So tell me about one of your clients right now. Obviously, you don't have to name names, but tell us about someone that you've really kind of helped to improve their life and maybe change their area of um, uh, problems with diabetes or high blood pressure or something else. Yeah, so um, we do have a client that has um, diabetes, very picky eater, very, very picky. Um, they weren't sure that the service was going to work because of the pickiness there. But, um, you know, Chef Gloria has knocked it out of the park. Right. Um, the client checks his, his numbers every week. And he told Chef Gloria, since you've been coming, my numbers have been completely in line. I love the food you're making me. You're making healthy taste good. Um, didn't think that was possible, but it is. Um, and so he is just beyond thankful for um, the service and uh, uh, wants to keep using us for as long <laughs> as they possibly can because the numbers are so great. The only time his numbers go out of line is when he has his cheat meals on the weekend, but that that's on them. That's not on us, you know. <laughs> but yeah, well, that's, that's so great. You have to have a li little leeway there, right? Really so, yeah. yeah, yeah. So people can reach you by um, on the uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. www.chefsforseniors.com, right? Yes, because we are a national organization. Uh, we exist in over 20 states right now, but we do have a website, chefsforseniors.com right there. Um, you can also call us at 626-737-2052. Um, if you go to the website, just fill it out and it'll give me all your information and I'll give you a call back. Um, but either way, you can text us too at 626-737-2052. We're available. Well, I think it'd be great to integrate what you're doing with some of our clients. And we've used personal chefs in the past, um, but it's actually part of our ethos, our, our values. And we look at, we have a program called Shape Up Your Longevity. And Eating Habits is one of the Shape Up uh, acronyms. And so we can certainly sit down with our clients and produce more goal or you know, design some goals that they want to be involved in to support their well-being and see if, if perhaps some more focused nutrition would be helpful for them. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to. And that's what we do. We, which, we want to make sure people are not only eating, but eating right, eating what's right for them, because it makes you feel good at the end of the day. And that's well, why. It's so much easier when you're living alone, too. I would imagine you maybe make food for busy families as well. But um, it's, it's yeah. really nice when you're a single person living at home or you're, you're just tired or you're just, you're just, you don't want to cook anymore. 
And so even if it's for a couple, it's nice to have that yeah. special treat. We've got all of the above. We've got the folks who are still working and just need a break. We've got the folks that are by themselves and can't do it anymore. Um, we've got folks with, um, you know, uh, memory disorders who can't do it for themselves, but they look forward to the chef coming in every day to, to kind of hang out with. So we've got all kinds of clients, although we are chefs for seniors, we can service um, any age group, um, but our menus are, you know, designed for the needs of the senior community. So tell me a little bit more about how often you're coming in. And I know you said you make the meals and label them and put them in the refrigerator, but share a little bit more about how you kind of organize that or how often you're coming to the house. Yeah, absolutely. So um, it's all flexible. Um, our standard package will include four different menu items, which um, the client will get two to three servings out of that. Uh, that's about 10 to 12 servings of food, which is about 10 to 12 meals for most people. So um, we've got some folks that use us weekly. We've got some that use us bi-weekly and we have some that use us multiple times a week um, and even monthly. So it really just depends on the needs of the clients. Is it an individual who needs food every week because they're not going out? Um, or is it a couple who just wanted a break? And so it's a nice change in their routine every other week. So it's all our program um, is fully customizable just based on what uh, what the clients need. That's great. That's really great. So share your favorite food item that one of your chefs make. Oh, wow. So um, <laughs> Maybe so, a couple. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of really good stuff, but I'll tell you our most popular, one of our most popular items is the tamale pie. Uh, probably because here we're in the Southern California area, but um, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful pie with a, a beautiful uh, crust and it's got all kinds of goodies inside, but it is a, it is a fan favorite for sure, which we didn't know was going to be one of our most popular items, but it's delicious. Oh, interesting. Well, that's great. I remember my mom used to make something like that. So it's kind of also comfort food in a way. It almost sounds like it's, it's like mm -hmm. a variation on a shop, like a shepherd's pie in a way, or yep. with like a tomato it, it absolutely pie corn meal pie. Yeah. yeah. It's that's kind good. of Mexican inspired. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, wonderful. Well, Great success to you, and I'm so glad you're here to help our seniors stay well and get great nutrition and interaction, which is also super important. Do you want to stay till the end of the show, and we'll just chat before we leave? Yeah, thank you so much. All right. Sounds great. Thanks, Sam. We'll see you soon. Bye. That is really great. I love that ability to have the interaction and obviously things that are customized. And while the Meals on Wheels program is so essential for so many seniors, especially on a very limited budget, this is so nice to have customized for you and your likes and your dislikes. And obviously it's going to be much more specialized to what you might need. But let me go ahead and I'll bring uh, Melinda on, and we'll talk a little bit about maybe some nutrition. Let's see what she has to say. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Great. Um, what an amazing show. I'm super jazzed about today. Isn't that great? Isn't that great that you can have somebody come in your house yes. and cook for you? Yes. I love it. I love oh, I it. love it. Um, yeah. It's super, super, uh, like the caregiver question and um, chefs, chefs for seniors is like just amazing. Um, I really like chefs for seniors because if there's something going on with someone's health, they can, you know, customize um, the menu t for that, for that, that situation. Um, I wanted to add, you know, you were talking right before you brought me on Mary about um, different people having different budgets. So we've yeah. got meals on wheels for people who need that type of service. And then we've got chefs for seniors. There's a, a bunch of other services that, that do like meal delivery 
that may be kind of like an in-between. Good. One, okay. Yeah. One of the um, services that we use in our home is Daily Harvest. Oh, so sure. They'll they'll send you a box of things that you choose every week or you could skip a week. And um, most of the ingredients are organic. They'll like let you know when they're not. And you just add, like this is a smoothie where you just add your choice of whatever milk you like. And it's kind of the uh, breakfast or lunch or snack in the middle of the day. And, but they have, they have soups, they have flatbreads, they have these little oat bowls. Um, and you can see that the, uh, they're delicious, by the way. This is chocolate almonds. Um, but you can see that the ingredients are pretty health promoting. This is um, a lot different than maybe like the instant oatmeal that most people get from like Quaker oats that have all the, the sugar added. Sure. Um, this, you know, tastes delicious, but it's, you know, relatively healthy with the, with the ingredients there. This one's mulberry and dragon fruit oat bowl. Um, so there are companies like that where the meals are, you know, stored in the, the freezer or the fridge, and they're really simple to prepare, meaning you just have to heat it up or you just have to add um, milk, almond milk, oat milk, um, and then enjoy that are, that are still health promoting. I think one of the biggest, um, you know, drawbacks of pre-prepared food when it's packaged, like, mm -hmm. The grocery store is that some sometimes or a lot of times actually the nutritional value of those items are not very high um so if you're relying on that day in and day out for your you know your all of your meals um you know it, it's not going to be the same as maybe getting some some uh deliver some type of delivery where they prepare it a little bit closer to the delivery time. Sure, and, and I think the other thing too is like you mentioned, they may have so much sodium, and mm -hmm. oftentimes what I see, even if you're not having mail order food sent to you, seniors are picking up TV dinners because yeah. it's easy, and and they don't want to cook, or or maybe it's really challenging to cook anymore. So it's throwing that TV dinner into the microwave. And there's a lot of sodium in most of those. And obviously we know that that's not good if we have mm -hmm. conditions, anemia, and um, heart issues and um, so I think this is a great, a great way. I know there are other things like um, you probably researched it too, like Blue Apron, but there are mm -hmm. those things that you actually have to make. They send you the ingredients yep. and make them and those are lovely and I think important and have value in their own way. But I think for a senior, they really hit it on the mark as far as having the food already prepared and having that interaction. It's so important for the senior, too. Yeah. And so it'll be very interesting to see how uh, that develops. And pretty ingenious that they decided that that would be a good model for a franchise. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, oh, it's, it's an amazing and it's um, it's very, very needed, especially when you can. I mean, that's that's the big thing, because you can get even when you get Blue Apron or Green Chef, which we use in our home, um, you're you still have to make the food. It basically right. just cuts it cuts the grocery shopping out and it cuts the um, recipe, the meal planning out. But the those meals are not. Um, you know, they're not chosen for you. I mean, right. you can choose them, but they're not customized towards your nutritional needs, right. which is a whole nother, you know, a whole additional step. And that's a exactly. brilliant, brilliant service, yeah. especially um, as we get older, where our nutritional needs, you know, we have very specific nutritional needs as we get older. Mm -hmm. And especially if we have a con conditions or, um, you know, chronic situations that need to be uh, manage. It's very, very important. You can't just do one size fits all. Right, and, um, right. It's it's kind of like Rebecca when Rebecca comes and talks about some of the activities. She would say that that is activity is medicine, and like yes. seeing them there is like that extra dose of what somebody may need as far as the social interaction. And food is absolutely it's deadly, or it's it's the best thing in the world for you. And we know within um, Shape Up too, that it's one of our longevity measures to make sure that we have eating habits that are really supporting our health and not damaging our health. 
So it's yeah. either medicine or it's poison. It's and true. It's true. It, unfortunately, if you're not putting thought or um, you know, you're not looking into what's in your food. You you could be inadvertently poisoning yourself. So. Exactly, exactly. Well, let me see. We have the daily perk today. Ooh. Is it's World Egg Day, and actually, it's kind of interesting. I, I didn't like that song, Ben. Remember that Dicky rap movie, <laughs> Ben? <laughs> it was with Michael Jackson. He sang that song, Ben, but that debuted. Oh. And then, actually, Winnie the Pooh was. First published today, um, oh, wow. back in 19, what was it, 1922? 1926, sorry. <laughs> I had to jump in. Kind of, even with glasses, we had to take a look, closer look at that. So, let's Yeah, I don't think the song Ben was his most popular because I don't even know that. <laughs> I know. Well, you can you can pull it up on um, yeah. on Spotify or one of those today. But yeah, it was in 1972. You're, he earned the top place on the music charts with Ben. So I think that's but maybe I'm completely wrong. But I think I think I'm just thinking of the movie Ben that had the rat and that his movie his song is associated with that. But, um, yeah, it was a. I didn't like that movie. It scared me. <laughs> in 1972, I was pretty young. I was only in second grade. <laughs> so, and then let's see what's tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a, well, we have a great word scramble too, but tomorrow is National Grouch Day. Oh, look at Oscar there. <laughs> oh, I know. So let's bring, let's bring Steve and Pam back and um, we'll just chat quickly about our weekend and um, see um see if um anybody's doing anything special let's see hold on let's see if we can find pam too hopefully pam's still here well anyway let me hide this and find pam we shall come back at the very end uh, hello hello good to see you yeah so anybody you want to know what the this game's sports is Yes, I do. So in 1979, Wayne Gretzky scored his first NHL goal first. against the Vancouver Canucks. He tied the game up 4-4 in the third period. Wayne Gretzky, for those who don't know, is known as the great one. He's yeah. set <laughs> so many records, I don't have time to go through them all. But he is the um, all-time point scorer in NHL history. Uh, one of the records I think is most amazing. He was the only player to score over 200 points in one season. He's done that four times. Wow. Um, won four Stanley Cups with the Edmonton Oilers. And then in one of the greatest trades in all of sports history, it was traded to the LA Kings in uh, 1988. And you could argue that were it not for that trade, we probably don't have the Anaheim Ducks in California nor the San Jose Sharks, nor the uh, hockey team in um, Phoenix. So he was um, he was the one who generated so much support and attention to hockey in Southern California. That trade just revolutionized the NHL. I think so. Wow. I think so. That, that's really kind of an Eastern sport, right? You both are from originally from Ohio, so that was that was something you probably saw it pretty routinely. We don't do lots of ice sports. In California. Yeah, right. no. <laughs> Southern California isn't a big ice <laughs> Right. Yeah, mostly Canada, um, yeah. all across Canada. And, and then a lot of the teams are featured in, you know, the, the Eastern Seaboard, Midwest, Chicago, Detroit. Yeah. Minnesota and Wisconsin too, right? For sure. Yeah. Um, Minnesota had a team, they had the North Stars, and then they subsequently moved to Dallas. And then Minnesota got a new team. They're now the uh, Wild, Minnesota Wild. Wow. So they have the Wild, their team have relocated to Dallas. So, so now, like, the whole Southwest that. is filled with uh, NHL teams. But I remember I remember being a Kings fan when I moved to L.A. And we'd go see, you know, if they happened to be in the playoffs, which wasn't all the time. But you wanted to go see a game, and you could go to a bar and get there, like, 20 minutes before the game, get a seat, no problem. And after that Wayne Gretzky trade, you had to go to a place like hours before uh, to get a seat because he had just generated so much interest in the sport out here. So it was crazy. Yeah, it's phenomenal when we have those amazing leaders or athletes that really take the attention uh, mm -hmm. toward their sport or the, um, you know, the, the 
of magic that they create in whatever industry right. they're in. It's really That's incredible. Right. So, well, we in, in the near future, look out for we're going to have the Rushmore of Rock with Steve Goodwin on. He's going to talk about some of his stories and interview uh, some rock and rollers. So I cool. think that's going to be kind of fun too. We've got a little history on sports. We have a little history on, on music and we just keep growing with all these great little segments. So thank you all for doing what you do and please send in your questions. Mm -hmm. And if you have some topics that you would like Melinda to cover or are for myself, and certainly if you have those questions, send those off to info at about senior solutions.com. So Steve can collect those and, share them on on air with you and if you have a hundredth birthday or you know of somebody having a hundredth birthday please let us know and we will absolutely feature them as well so have a fantastic weekend and we will see you next week <laughs> great show bye everyone have a good weekend <laughs>